Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to explore and learn what is pentation, and we will solve one problem. Let us begin this video by writing four symbols first. If I will ask you a par b, then it is very very simple. This is recalling exponent or exponential or exponentiation. Done. If I will write a and top left side, I am writing b. Then what would you say? This is tetration. Symbol for tetration representation. If I am having b in down left corner, then it is symbol for pentation notation. And once I am having b in the down right corner, then it is symbol for hexation. Hyper operation. Now I will start from the scratch level. We all learned from school repetitive addition. Let me write here or repeated addition is nothing but multiplication. Let's consider using example. So if I am adding two numbers three and three. Then I can write three times two, three plus three. How many times we are adding two? So it will be that much number of product times. That is six. Now I will consider repetitive multiplication or repeated multiplication. It is nothing but exponentiation. Exponentiation. Let us consider example. So I will write three times three. How many times we are multiplying three? Two times. That would be our exponent. Conclusion is: repetitive addition is multiplication. Repetitive multiplication is exponentiation. Repetitive exponentiation. Let me write: repeated exponentiation is nothing but tetration. And repetitive tetration, repeated tetration is pentation. Let us understand through example itself. So repeated exponentiation. I will write two power two power two. So I how I can write two power two, and then it is second tier or second floor. That is why it is called tower. So symbol notation for this is two, and in the left top corner we will write three like this. Now repeated tetration. So I need to write in the form of tetration. So two super power two super power two. This is repetitive tetration form. Now I will write this is equal to two, and in down left side I will write how many times two is being tetrated. It is three times, so it is two. Left side, we will write three. Let's consider our problem. I will write two. Here I will write three. Its meaning is we have to find out pentation. So we know that pentation is repeated tetration. So two is being repeated how many times? Three times. So can we write two super power two super power two? Two is there for three times in the tetrated form. So two super power two super power two. Now let us break into layers or floors. So I will be writing here first one, and here I will be writing the second one. So let us solve two super power two first. This one. Now we know that tetration is. This is tetration. Tetration is a repeated exponentiation. So I will write two will be repeated itself. How many times? Two times. So two power two, which will be equal to four. So now I can write here. It is two super power four. Now you can see two super power four. What does it mean? 
its meaning is very simple 2 is going to repeat itself in the form of exponentiation how many times four times 2 par 2 par 2 par 2 now we have one floor second floor third floor you can see three layer or floor so let us calculate one by one so i will be writing here the top 2 par 2 i will write it is equal to 4 so we can write 2 par 2 par this value is 4 now 2 par 4 i can write 2 par 2 par 4 is 16 now 2 par 16 i can write 2 par 10 times 2 par 6 using exponent property so if you will calculate this value this is 1024 Times sixty-four. This will come out six five five three six. Very big number. Now you can see two is being pentated three times. Its magnitude, its answer is sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-six. Now I will replace this number three by four. See how much the answer difference it is going to generate. Let's solve this. I will write two and four here. Its meaning is very simple. We have to consider repetitive tetration. How many times? Four times. Done. Now we have to start from here. So two part two. I will write. I have also done in the previous case. Two part two is same as. Two will be repetitive exponentially two times. So this value is four. So I can write two super power two super power four. Now we have to solve this level or floor. So I will write here two super power four as in the exponentiation repetition two will be repeated itself how many times four times. So two power two. Part two, part two. Let us begin from here. This is four, so I can write two par two par four. Now two par four is again sixteen, so two par sixteen. Now two par sixteen we are going to put here, so this will give us two par sixteen. Let us write this value six five five three six. Let us apply. So two super power six five five three six. What does it mean? Let me write here. Two super power sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six. Two is going to repeat itself exponentially. How many times? Sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six times means two power. Two par, two par, two par, two par. Dot, 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 dot. How many times it is? Six, five, five, three, six. Number of times. You can imagine this number won't be big. It would be very, 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 very big number. Means if you will use calculator, you won't get. I am pretty sure about that. You won't get any answer from there because that number. will be very 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 big so the application part of this concept is where we are finding distance of planets or between or among the planets earth sun diameter or we are having very very big distance in in the context of units also so we can apply these concepts over there i hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck do not forget to subscribe channel bye bye